should be happenings with health from Dr. Amanda Bledsoe and Hurley. And then we had happenings in the county with Jim Baker. Judge Jim Baker, I have to use the same judge. And then uh, we have happenings for downtown Conway. So I saved the best for last on that. So I'm going to give you a little information about our speaker today. Um, we have Kim Williams from the Conway Area Chamber of Commerce. She's going to catch us all up to date with what's going on downtown and some of the things that are um, happening going towards the spring. Um, Kim Williams has been a Conway resident since 1981. She's a UCA Bear grad and Axiom alum. The year Kim celebrates, this year Kim celebrates seven years as the executive director for the Conway Downtown Partnership. During Kim's tenure, downtown Conway has been a shift from not only being a hub of retail commercial business in Conway, but has helped user in a rebirth of downtown as the place for tech firms looking to make downtown Conway their home. An ideal day is to meet with folks looking to bring their company or their restaurant or their business to downtown helping them to realize their dream location and then working to make it happen. I know in the last 14 years that I've been um, a banker in Conway, I've noticed a huge difference in downtown. Would you guys agree? I mean, we, we have people come here just to see our historic downtown, and you've done an excellent job, Kim. That's great. And I know there's new things coming. I can't wait to hear. Um, Kim is also sits on a few boards in Conway. She's on the United Way board. She's on the Conway Alliance for the Arts, Arts Board. Can read my writing. Um, she's on the Conway Civic League, and she's on Volunteer Conway. So, with all that being said, we are glad to have her here today, and we welcome Kim Williams. Do this, or can you hear me like this? Yes, no, yes, I can't stand still, so I'm going to move the mic. Well, thank you so much, Ann. I appreciate that. And I do want to recognize a couple of people. I want to recognize my board president, who is Bill Bethay at the back. He's a visitor today. He said he came to heckle me. I said, Great. And I also want to recognize Ed Link. He's our newest uh, associate at the, the chamber, and we're very excited to have him with us. And there's a few people that have known me since I've been in Conway, Joe for one, and Mr. Duncan for another, and we're, um, well, they move around. I, I see. <laughs> <laughs> and David Hensey's known me for a long time, and several of you as well. And so anyway, I just um, thought I'd say that. Anyway, um, downtown Conway, we are just lots of things going on. Um, it's so exciting to have this much to talk to you about, and I'm going to move pretty quickly because I've been told I only have a few minutes to, <laughs> but, uh, you know, downtown we've been um, going and growing, it seems like, for a long time. I have a, a quote, and it's uh, from Jamie Gates, which I think is kind of uh, indicative of, no, yeah. I got it. Jamie uses this quote a lot. How can downtown grow without getting bigger? <clears throat> well, that's kind of an e easy question to answer. You know, our boundaries of downtown haven't changed really in over however many years. I, you know, as long as downtown's been where it is, it's still Locust to Hark Rider, um, basically Spruce Street at the north to uh, down to College or uh, St. Joe in the south. So, you know, the, that that boundary doesn't really change that much. But you know, what happens in the, inside those boundaries doesn't do. And that's kind of what I'm going to, you know, kind of go over a little bit today of all the major growth that's going on. Um, just to kind of give you an overall picture, um, roughly in the last 36 months, and um, I'll get, uh, give you a little bit more information, but basically in the last 36 months, uh, we have had over 15 different uh, um, different either renovations, revitalizations, expansions, uh, movements of new people into downtown just between Front Street and Hark Rider, okay? So basically from right here to right there, we've had all, this, all the spaces that you see outlined here in green have either been completely remodeled or in the process of being remodeled, have uh, changed tenants, have new tenants, 
so we, as you can see, we've got a lot of uh, activity going in this area, uh, which you know is very exciting. Uh, also over here on Van Ronkel, and then on Front Street. I can't get it all <laughs> in one uh, map anymore, all the exciting things that are going on. Um, so a lot of people say, so what is the catalyst? What's causing this growth in downtown? Well, one of the things we can point to really easily is the $600,000 plus investment that the city made with Rogers Plaza. That alone has sparked just from here to, to Hark Rider over $3 million of investment in downtown. That's a lot of uh, taxable uh, increase in the tax rolls, if you will. So, you know, the very good thing for calling. Not a huge investment, and it's really paid off, and I don't care what you say, the tree really does pay for itself every year. You can ask all the merchants downtown. So we're very excited about that. So, real quickly, I'm going to kind of go all the way down the line and tell you what is happening in all these buildings. Okay, first of all, we're going to start right here at 911 Oak. We have Zateo Coffee just moved in with Share the Love Kids Club. We're very excited. Uh, Zateo is a great coffee place. They have actually good sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, and lunch sandwiches, and salads, and soups. Actually had uh, lunch there yesterday. And so they are also tied to Share the, uh, Share the Love Kids Club. And what it is is mothers, fathers, grandparents can bring their kids in, and they can have coffee over here, and the kids can run around and play over here. It's great. There's people up and down the sidewalks all the time with strollers bringing the kids to the place. So that has turned, you know, just been a wonderful uh, addition to downtown. Lots of foot traffic. Next door, you have Remax Conway. Diane Henson and uh, Tiger uh, have uh, moved their office here. They have over 30, I think, uh, realtors there. So a lot of traffic from the realtors. And they completely have remodeled the inside and still looking to do some remodeling of uh, that way. Newest on the, one of the newer places on the list is 925 Oak Street. Um, this whole building is still owned by Jessica and um, Brian, Ryan, excuse me, uh, um, Brian, 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 Brian Zimmerman, thank you. But uh, they have leased out the front 3,000 square feet to Diane Berry, who also owns uh, the Royal We, but she is also a uh, wedding gown designer, and the, the, this location is going to be called Mom Cherie Bridal, and I mean, she's international. I mean, this is kind of a huge deal that we have uh, this um, joining up our downtown lineup because what she, what she and Jessica would like to do is become the new, um, basically the new Brinkley, the new Lowe's of Arkansas, so that brings in a lot of uh, foot traffic as well, so we're very excited about that. Okay, next we have Cross Creek and Juniper's Antiques. As you can see, this whole back end of this was the expansion that they did in 2014. Um, so that's about a 3,000 square feet addition to their already, you know, um, great location there. How, who has it? Okay, this is probably easier. Who hasn't eaten at Cross Creek? Okay, see, nobody. So. <laughs> We're very excited. Then next door to that is Park Hill Home. Okay, uh, Park Hill Home is um, the, now the, basically, it is the um, flagship store for Park Hill Collection. It used to be in Park Hill, North Little Rock, so they moved from there to here, and we're very excited that they are here. And, I mean, that's a, that's a nationally recognized brand. You see them in every magazine, you know, home magazine. They are, it's a, kind of a big deal. I don't know if y'all really knew that, but we're very excited to have them. Um, and something really quick about the, uh, the building, I don't know if you noticed how the building was renovated, but when, they, when the owners of the building bought that, you know, it was, it, the storefront had been modified for the 50s and 60s to try to make downtown look like a mall. And so the, new, the owners came in and took all that stuff that they had done and basically took it back to um, make it more uh, historically correct. Uh, his, bringing back the historic character and integrity to that building. So that is a perfect example of um, how, you know, downtown's that look and feel is what, you know, we, we encourage property owners to, you know, look to do with their buildings. Next up is right here. Speaking of a building that is in the process of being renovated, uh, the new owners have purchased this building, the demo, it's at, um, 1015 Oak Street. Um, it used to be Bobby's Antiques. 
And so they're very excited. They're looking for, you know, new retail operators possibly to take over the front side of the building and even have some maybe some space at the rear for um, off, quiet office or whatever. So that building is in process of uh, being renovated. Okay, next up is right here. Um, this is, Bunny had talked about this building right here. It used to be uh, Monty Bank Place. It's uh, 10, 1105 and 1107. This is also the new home to UCA downtown. We're so excited. Um, Shelly has done such a great job with this location. This, but the space has just been, you know, she's had so much um, response to people wanting to lease the space for different kinds of receptions, small business gatherings and things like that. So, you know, if you're looking for something downtown and you want something really cool, call Shelly. Where's Shelly? Oh, did Shelly already leave? <coughs> anyway, uh, their grand opening was on the 14th and, you know, Shelly said, well, but, you know, we are maybe expecting 100, 150. There were 300 people there. It was amazing. So, uh, we're very excited to have that space downtown. Next on that side of the street is uh, Senior Living Keyless. Um, you know, it took them a long time to finally get open, but we're very excited they are out there, and that was a 5,000 square foot space uh, revitalization. Across the street, we've got um, Edward Jones. Um, Granger's done a great job revitalizing, uh, not revitalizing, but remodeling his space there, and he's continuing. He's got new windows and new um, um, awning, and he's doing the interiors now, so he's continuing on that. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Okay, next, we go to uh, Bell & Sword Men's Store. That opened in 2014. That's another great example of uh, the building that had been, you know, the, the previous owner had not done a lot with that building front, the facade. You know, it kind of was a, a cross between, well, we wanted to kind of make it look, fit, you know, more modern, but we really didn't try very hard. So when the new owners came in, they removed all that old, you know, a uh, slip cover and, you know, to expose what was there before, which was even better. So we're very excited about that. Next door to that is um, Natural State Oil, Olive Oil and Spice Company. And they opened late, uh, well, middle of last year, and they're doing just wonderful. She, uh, the owners of that space, you know, they were a little tentative because, you know, this kind of a new industry, or a new uh, retail um, line that they were bringing to Conway and they were just worried that, you know, they didn't know how that was going to happen, you know, how people in Conway were going to accept it. And obviously, y'all have done it very well, so thank you very much for making them feel welcome in downtown. Okay, next space is the old Blue Ribbon and uh, Blue Ribbon Shoe Store and Blue Ribbon Antiques. It's actually, that building has been bought by uh, some folks out of Fayetteville and they are going to be coming in probably later this spring and over the summer they're going to be remodeling that building and to where they will open um, their new boutique in downtown, which should be open probably August, is what I've been told for back to school. Um, the name of the boutique is Mods, <coughs> excuse me, Mods Boutique. They have one in Fayetteville, it does very well, so we're very excited about that. Um, next door to uh, the, um, that space is uh, Rocket Fizz. Has anyone been to Rocket Fizz? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Well, they, they are doing so wonderful. Uh, the owner's actually from Ventura, California, and he had found a sp some land and actually lives kind of somewhat in Russellville, but he loved Conway so much he wanted, and he was trying to find something to, you know, the, to take advantage of Conway's great downtown, and he came across this ro Rocket Fizz franchise. So he bought the Rocket Fizz, Fizz franchise for Arkansas, and Conway was the first uh, first store for that, and now he's opening another one because of the success that the Conway stores had. And he's opening another one in downtown Hot Springs. So very, we're very excited to have them in downtown. Then next door to that, uh, we had uh, it's 1008 uh, Oak Street. It used to be the Curtis Flower Store for those of you that kind of go a little bit farther back. Um, it was renovated, and White Goat was there for the first almost six, eight months. Um, the space, the, the store itself was doing fine, but the, um, the owner of the store has two little girls, two little kids, and she lives in Little Rock, and she wasn't able to find a, a manager that could, you know, be here full time, and she really needed that, and you know, with the kids and everything, she just decided, 
to move back to her Little Rock store and just close this store. But now, Tickle Pink, which is actually over here in next to Bob's Grill, is going to be moving down here and will be opening for Moonlight Madness, which is this Friday. <laughs> just a little plug, uh, which is this Friday, uh, 6 to 9. But, you know, the stores always start their sales during the day, so don't feel like you can only get those great sales from 6 to 9. Actually, you can get them a little earlier, but don't tell them I said that. Just go in and say, I'm... <laughs> But, I mean, we're talking, you know, big markdowns, 50 and 75% off, so <clears throat> go on down and shop. Okay, so now that brings us down to the, the Rogers Plaza, or Rogers building, excuse me. Um, the uh, new owners of that have leased the building to a company or to a restaurant out of uh, Russellville that many of you may be familiar with, Fat Daddy's. Anybody, Fat Daddy's? What do you think about it? Well, <laughs> that's what I've heard. They are great people, and they've got a great product. So we're very excited to have them right here now. If you've seen this building, there it's this building is 8,000 square feet. So they're, they've got a huge space inside, and then back here is a, a covered area. And they say that they are going to be able, they will be taking advantage of that outdoor patio area too. So <laughs> we're excited about that. So. Whew. Breath. <laughs> so that kind of takes us down the um, uh, Oak Street area. Now I've got Sporty Runner over here on uh, Van Ronkel that I've got circled. They're going to be um, renovating their store this uh, this spring. They're actually working with a company out of Colorado that does uh, that works with sporting good companies like themselves you know, that bring in that work, you know, as far as merchandising and things like that. So they're gonna have a whole new look and feel. They're gonna take, you know, they're gonna really take some time and try to get that building kind of, um, bring it back to some historic um, ingredients or character that it had prior to. Because that used to be a, um, who was, it was a um, blacksmith shop years ago. I don't think anybody knew that, but I've seen pictures of it. So part of this building is part of that old uh, blacksmith shop, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so that's going to be happening then later this spring. And then over here on Front Street, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, uh, the Covingtons own this building, 915, used to be Marty Sykes um, Photography, and they bought that and they remodeled that in latter part 2014 and 15. And uh, a store called Mason Jar is there. Excuse me. And then over here next door was the Statements, and now it's the Beach Shack. And that that space they have completely remodeled that interior as well. And they have men's and women's clothing there. And they also have tanning beds. If you were downtown, you may have tan go in there. Uh, and then of course we talked about before the uh, um, nine twelve. It's basically the old dryer shoe store. Uh, if during our downtown partnership annual meeting, we have made the announcement that that building will become the John Daly um, Steakhouse. So it's actually going to take both of those buildings, the old uh, Dreyer Shoe Store and the downtown Pentecostal. And I actually talked to those folks today, and they are hoping to get started on the, the remodel. They were hoping to save the building, the um, Dreyer building, because it was um, contributing to the historic downtown Conway historic commercial district. However, the uh, damage to the north wall, which Joe <laughs> Joe is familiar with a little bit, but um, that it just was going to cost be too cost prohibitive to really do what they you know pr basically to preserve the building. So basically, they're they're going to have to they're going to have to tear it down, <laughs> which you don't like to have that happen, but. Uh, you know, they have a plan to build something back, which will be, a, you know, a, a great asset to downtown. Uh, so they're basically, it's going to be a building that will um, take up both of those uh, storefront spaces. Originally, they had already only planned to have four uh, apartments in that space, but now they're going to have eight. So that's great because we need much more downtown uh, living stock. So we're very excited about that. Um, so they are looking to open now uh, in. I think he said in September. So, you know, they originally said they thought it would be April, but when you bring down a building and all that, but that brings it, it takes a little bit longer. So, we're very excited that that's happening. Any questions so far? Please ask a question. <laughs> okay. So, still have you with me? All right. Um, next. Um, 
So I think that kind of takes us through this portion. Um, we've got uh, some other uh, exciting things happening, though. As you notice, right here, I've got this. Oh, ee, go back. Well, this, it was marked on the alley, but this is the alleyway. This is the um, front to, to Chestnut Alley that, um, oh, I can go to the next one, <laughs> that in our, um, the downtown partnership, when we originally did the, um, um, the master plan for downtown that was uh, adopted by the city in 2009, you know, this was one of the pretty drawings that they gave us and for that alley. Look how nice that looks, you know, people walking and enjoying the alley. Well, a, through a partnership with Comic Corporation, um, the city, downtown partnership, and the Central Business Improvement District, some of this is going to come to fruition this year. Uh, all the Comic Corp has already done pretty much all their work. All has um, buried all the power lines, so you don't see that really tall um, power transformer behind Bob's Grill anymore. So basically, all we're waiting on is AT&T to get their lines down, and then once that happens, and see these period lighting, you know, the street lights that we have throughout downtown like this. We'll, they'll be lighting through the, uh, throughout the alley, basically to reactivate that alley space because we've, um, when we've um, gone to other cities to do benchmarking. We've seen a lot of alleyways that they have, you know, been able to reactivate and turn into just really neat spaces for people to gather and do different things. So this is our first attempt at it, and I think it's going to go very well once it gets done. And with this space going to be the new John Daly. Um, restaurant, I think that that will really, um, really enliven that area as well. Okay, I think we can go next. Next up, we can move over to Parkway, and um, the uh, the Hawkins that own 825, this portion of 825, um, Parkway, you know, been in the process of renovating this building for the last three years, and just uh, recently, as of this past fall, Garber Engineering moved their Conway offices to this space right here. How many people have been up there? It looks great. It's one of my favorite office spe spaces in downtown because it's got one of the best views. So we're very excited to have them as one of our new tenants. Next, slide. Next door to that, Conway Corporation has actually bought this part of 825 to use as marketing. Is it your marketing department? That's Ah, see, this is where you can find George. <laughs> when are you guys going to paint it, though? <laughs> anyway, we're very excited to have that because that those two buildings are actually you know, inspiring other people on that block to look at their buildings and say, well, what can we do to our buildings to monetize our buildings? And I actually have visited uh, just this just very recently with the, the shop family. This I didn't get a picture of this, but they have uh, on their second floor, their building is was the old Conway Hotel, and they're looking to possibly start renovations of that to turn that into uh, apartment spaces as well. And it's so neat. We went up there, uh, and it, it's like you can walk back in time. I mean, it's the building is exactly like it was when they left it. Um, I don't know how many years ago, oh, at least 50 years ago, it, it's, there's 12 different rooms up there, and there, there was a communal bathroom and a communal <laughs> kitchen. So it's, a, it's an interesting space, lots of windows. You don't really realize how many windows are there, but they're going to reopen a lot of those windows. They kind of close some of them up, if you can see right here. So they're going to open those back up, and we're working with the, the um, um, Main Street, Arkansas folks, I don't know if y'all saw that announcement, that this is going to be one of their projects that they're going to help uh, the Shock family, hopefully hopefully with their remodel. So we're very excited about that. So that takes us to the next page. Okay, Main Street. Here's some things that's happening on Main Street. Um, 1107, this used to be the old Cannon Copy Machine space. As you can see, we've got a large opening here. Uh, that is where a, a Keller Williams Realty is going to be going in, uh, probably later this spring. And then um, Strange Properties, Steve Strange uh, has moved his office to here, so that's where he'll be conducting his business. And they're already painting this building. They're going to completely give it a new facelift, new awnings. Uh, we're, so we're very excited about 
uh, the revitalization of that building. And then next, we have on Main Street, the Metro Square. Have y'all seen the, the plaza area that they redid just this past summer? That has really opened up that building. Don't you pre love that? <laughs> It basically it creates, you know, the the space was so big before. You kind of when you walked into, you kind of went, ooh, I don't. It's kind of scary. Well, adding these features have made it brought, basically brought that space to more of a human scale, so people feel more comfortable, you know, using the space, interacting with it. And uh, during Arts Fest, we actually there's a very large sculpture here that uh, there that the um, Salter family. Um, help to you know to bring to Conway so they they will have that there for a little bit longer but we see people here having lunch and we've had um, food truck Fridays there where they're going to be continuing that this summer with the food trucks folks so we're very excited about that space on Main Street and next up and last but not least is the new Comi Corp uh, building that they're building okay this is is this looking from the east Standing on the street, looking from okay. the southwest. Okay. Neat building, huh? Mm-hmm. And, and we have a lot of there, right there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Rick, would you like to give us some more information? <laughs> <laughs> so we're very excited to have this coming online. And what's the, the due date? It's flexible. Flexible. <laughs> I get a lot of that, but <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't it should, should be February of, of next year. Okay, next year. Two, uh, 2017. Okay, good to know. Well, we're very excited to have that, and I do appreciate. It. I don't know if y'all noticed when you drive by, they kept two of the biggest trees on that lot, so they were building green. So we're very appreciative of that. that. Um, but with the creation of this space, that's going to kind of open up a little bit of a space over in the old. Um, Conway, um, the Common Court parking lot, and the city has a kind of a, a, a rough plan as to uh, increasing parking in that parking lot. So we're very excited about that um, when all this moves to its new home. So we're very excited. And that's really all I have. So I'm going to open it up. I know I talked a lot. We've got the other, one other, one last thing. I'm sorry. Um, but we do have. We've made several announcements this past January about uh, new tech companies coming to town, just companies, period. Um, Matova is still going strong. They announced just this past fall that they were going to be adding a, a hundred new associates to their uh, Conway uh, office. Um, Analyze is still going very strong. They're um, adding to their custom client list every day, so they're very excited about that. Um, um, Big Cloud Analytics is still in Conway. They're probably going to be um, possibly looking for a different location, but they're going to stay in downtown. We also added a satellite office with the Black Oak Group. It's kind of like a, for lack of a better term, a baby axiom. They do a lot of the, um, the service type um, um, operations that uh, Axiom used to do. And that they're located over in the um, Faulkner Square. So that's just kind of some of the exciting things that I can't tell you how many people I've been showing property to, wanting to, you know, be in downtown in the past, you know, two weeks. But prior to that, prior to Christmas, we had, you know, people coming in for, you know, from all over looking at different spaces that we have available. Basically, though, we don't really have a lot of office space still available. The, the Halter building is completely full except for one retail space. Um, the, um, the federal building does have some space available on the second floor, but after that, it's it's getting pretty slim. So we're very excited. That's a good thing to have. So questions? I'm almost there. Yes. Kim, I know this may not be Let's go east on Oak Street. I probably superior. Do you know what's going on there and what's going on? What kind of business is going on there? Somebody in here. I, I don't, I, I'm sorry, my, my boundary ends at a park right now. Okay, so according to Outback, two weeks ago when I was there, they are, Chipotle is going in the one that's already got uh, wood up, and Outback was a hole in the wall. I mean, hole in the ground at that point. So, 
Chipotle and Outback. Okay? Outback is going to move there? Outback is moving over there. Oh. It's going to be there by fall. That's kooky. <laughs> Anybody else? What's the status of the project for the solid yards? Well, that's very good. Uh, things are moving along. We hope to start the remediation process this spring, well, spring and summer. Um, Scott Crummer with the city planning is the, the project coordinator, project uh, lead on that. And he has been working tirelessly, and I do mean tirelessly, of uh, getting coordinated different grants for that project, uh, working with the Metro Plan folks, the watershed folks. I, I mean, I can't even tell you all the different groups that he's gotten involved. The arts group, arts council, he's looking for arts grants to help with design. So that, but the the initial remediation, the city has already uh, contracted with a group to do the um, first phase of uh, remediation on that. So that part will start. There'll be some more EPA testing after that, and then you know, tentatively we may have some you know some actual you know things to some things to look at probably in early 2017. Yes. Announced this week that you're reaffiliating with Main Street. Yes, very excited about. Yes, the what it means is it really means there's a lot of resources that Main Street Arkansas really kind of brings to bear to for downtown Conway. Actually, for any anything in Conway. Actually, it's not just for downtown. If your building is you know built, was built before. You know, 1950, you might be considered, you know, a historic building. So, you know, you, your building could, you know, um, actually take advantage of that as well. You don't have to own a building. You could be um, a, a tenant in a building, but you are looking for uh, interior um, help. But they, some of the resources they have are small business uh, consulting. They can come in and look at, do a, just a business walkthrough and say, well, that doesn't need to be there. You need to, you know, it can, they can help you with the flow to, you know, hopefully increase your sales. That's one. They can look at, help you with your bookkeeping and things like that. That's two. They can help you with more interior uh, design help and exterior. So that's, it's, it's very good to have those kind of resources available because a lot of times people go, I wish I, you know, I look, could see what that building would look like, you know, just cleaned up or whatever. So they are able to kind of offer that, uh, those, those resources. Now they're not architectural. They still have to go to an architect to have those, you know, those designs, but at least you can give those property owners and business owners an idea of, you know, what they can do. That's just one thing. Um, then there's also grant money available to the, uh, the downtown partnership that we can then in turn um, gift back to uh, the community as well through facade improvement grants to building owners and property owners and different capital type improvements as well for downtown. So we're very excited about that too. So that's just a few things. There's, and it's also a you know nationally recognized brand. So you know when they look up and you, when people are looking to maybe move to Conway, a lot of times they look to see if we're, if we're a Main Street community. That's very important to people these days. So that's just some, some of the things that are the benefits from it. So anybody else? Have I bored you that much? <laughs> All right, I'm done. Thank you. Jacqueline. If you have any questions, see Ms. Jacqueline. 
Uh, are there any announcements that need to be made before we discuss? All right, we'll stand in the German before we test.